Hi there, second grade class. How are you? I hope that everything is fine at home and I hope that you are feeling pretty good and, and that will be nice. So, um, as you know, we're going to keep working on the on unit 7 that it's called My Favorite Food. So, first of all, we're going to do a review about the activities that we did yesterday. Yesterday, as you can see, we started um, also doing a review about the verb like in present simple. Remember that this unit is all about present simple and food, healthy food. So, uh, we've been learning how to use the verb like, gustar in, in affirmative or negative. This is what you needed to copy in your notebook. And we use it to talk about the things that we enjoyed, that we enjoy. For example, like I was telling you, this unit is about food. Uh, we're going to use this verb to, to talk about, to express the food that we enjoy eating and the food that we don't enjoy eating, okay? So the things that we like and the things that we don't like. So um, we have I like, I don't like. And you needed to copy this in your notebook so you can have it clearer and neater from you. Later, we did activities on the workbook pages 67 and 68. And today we're going to do a review about the questions. How to make questions in present simple using the verb like. When you want to know if your friend, if your relatives like a food or they don't like, but you want to know that. So, how do we make these questions? We need to start always by using the auxiliary do or does. Remember that does, we only use it when we have personal pronoun, he, she, it. And when we have do, I, you, we, and they, okay? And the rest of it, you are going to use like, uh, even though it's he, she, it, uh, I, you, we, they, etc., you're always going to use like in the question, okay? Como es pregunta, este nunca va a cambiar. If it was a, like a sentence, you won't need to change it. But in the questions, we don't, okay? En las preguntas siempre va a ser like. The only thing that changes, depending on the subject, is the auxiliary verb do or does, okay? And in this space, you will need to write, like, for example, bananas, carrots. For example, do you like apples? And the question mark. Does he like carrots? And that's it. And, of course, I'm giving you some examples in here. Do you like cookies? You can see here we have the auxiliary do. Then we have subject you, ok? Tiene que ser conforme al sujeto. Vamos a usar do or does. And then the verb like and the food. Number two. Well, it doesn't have a number, but you understand what I'm saying. Does she like carrots? Ok, we have auxiliary does because our subject or personal pronoun is she. Verb like carrots. Remember. Even though our subject is she, we're not going to use the she likes carrots. No, ya estamos poniendo la S acá, ya no es necesario que le pongamos likes, ¿ok? Does he like chicken? It's similar to this one. Does, subject, verb, like, and chicken. Do they like pineapple? Do, auxiliary, um, subject, they. Like, verb, and pineapple is the food, okay? I think and I hope that this is clear, but please remember that if you keep having questions about these topics, please ask me, send a message, and of course I'm going to help you. So now we are going to go to the activities. We have also two pages from the workbook today. Workbook pages 69 and 70. Activity 6 says, what do you like? Listen and circle. Number one, A or B. Number two, A or B. Number three, A or B. Okay, I'm telling you this because you need to pay attention to the pictures um, before we listen to the audio. Now, I'm going to play the audio and I hope that you are ready for it. Let's pay attention to it. 
Workbook, page 69. Activity 6. What do you like? Listen and circle. 1. Number 1. Jenny, do you like bananas? Yes, I do. I like bananas. Okay. 2. I think it's clear. Number do 2. Do you like apples? No, I don't. I like strawberries. Okay. Three. Paul, do you like vegetables? Yes, I do. I like carrots, but I don't like potatoes. Okay, so in some of these, maybe you hear both of the options. I think I forgot to mention that you need to circle, well, the, the instruction says it. It says, what do you like? You needed to circle the answers about the kids about the food that they do like, okay? The things that they like. They mention, I don't like this, but I like this, okay? You needed to circle the one that they like, okay? Uh, activity seven, look and write. Here, as you can see, there's a girl and we have her thoughts. She has Okay, I'm going to say it para explicar el ejemplo. Cheese, tomatoes, and crossed bananas. Okay, I like, y vamos a poner lo que le gusta, lo que no es tachado. I like cheese and tomatoes. I don't like bananas. It's the one that is crossed. Okay, so it's the same that you are going to do with the next one. Number two, I like, and you're going to look at it. For, it's... It's pretty clear, you're going to write, like, for example, they like, son los que no están tachados. They don't like, of course, are the ones that I crossed, okay? So, number three, I like, look at the pictures. I don't like, look at the one that is crossed. Number four, it's a boy. It says, I like, look at it, I don't like, as you can see, these are, en los tres usaron bananas, chicken, and tomatoes. But the options and the answers that they chose are different. So pay attention to this. Okay, activity 69. Okay, activities from page 70, yes. We have grammar activities. Do you like fruit? Esto es lo que ya repasamos, lo que ya repasamos today and yesterday. Do you like fruit? Yes, I do. I like apples and bananas. No, I don't. Esta podría ser otra respuesta. Recuerden, you can choose if you want to answer yes or you can answer no. It's okay. No, I don't like... No, I don't. I like cheese. Next one. Do they like vegetables? Yes, they do. They like carrots and potatoes. Or... No, they don't. They like fruit. Okay. Does he or she like fruit? Yes, he or she does. He or she likes pineapple and strawberries. Or the other way around, saying no. No, he doesn't. Or no, she doesn't. He or she likes fruit. Okay. So, that's it. Let's go to the activity. Activity A, it says, look and circle. Do or does? She likes strawberries. Okay, look at the picture. And you're going to circle, do or does? And the answer says, yes, she do, yes, she does. Okay, you're going to circle the one that is the correct answer, of course. Now, activity seven. Do or does he like tomatoes? Okay, is it do or does? Uh, no, he don't. Or no, he doesn't. Okay, los que están más en negrita, letra en negrita, son las dos opciones que tienes. Y las dividen por una que se llama slash, una diagonal. Okay, do or does they like corn? Yes, they do. Or yes, they do. Okay, when you finish this, you can go to activity 9 that it says match, then write. Okay, question number one. Do you like chicken? Um, number two, do they like tomatoes? 
Number three, does he like yogurt? And the answer says, yes, A, he, blank. Y tienes las caritas aquí otra vez. B, like, disgusting face, así, like, no, I, espacio, C, yes, they, and you are going to match. Ok, vamos a unir, so we can have the correct answer to each question. And then you need to complete. For example, yes, he does or no, he do. Letter B, no, I does, no, I do. Letter C, yes, they do, yes, they does. Ok, you are going to use Only the auxiliary verb do or does to complete this. And that's it, kids. If you have questions, remember, always ask me, send a message, and that's it, okay? So I'll be waiting to meet you tomorrow at the live class. Remember that we are going to have a nice time. Try to be there on time. Be prepared with all the things that you are going to need for the class. I'll see you tomorrow on time, 9.30, and I'll see you there. Have a nice and beautiful day today. I'll see you. Bye.